Thanks, guys. Welcome to another episode of Make a Game with me, Goose, and Julian. Last episode, we started making the good game spawn point invaders game. We loaded in our sprites and we got them to move. What's on for this week, Julian? Today we'll be working with lasers. <gasps> lasers? Oh, I think Darren would be a bit jealous he's not here today. So to start, let's load up the scratch program we made last time. Then let's import the sprites for Darren's laser and the rubber chickens for Barjo, Hex and me. What do we do next, Julian? First select the laser sprite. From events, drag across a when I receive block. Then click the drop down menu and then click fire. From motion, add a go to block. And from the drop down menu, select Darren. Go to looks and add a show block. From control, add a repeat 10 and change the 10 to 30. From motion, insert a change Y by 10 block. From control, add an if then loop below the repeat loop. From operators, plug in an or block as the qualifier and slot a second or block into the first. That way, the instructions inside the loop will be triggered if any of those three conditions are met. From sensing, slot in touching blocks into all three of those or blocks and set them to Bajo, Hex and Goose. Inside the if then loop, add a hide block from looks and a go to block from motion. Using the drop down menu in the go to block, select Darren. That will make the laser disappear when it hits its target. Ah, oh, it works. Now I can finally fire Darren's laser. Now for the invaders lasers. Select one of the three chickens from events, add a when green flag clicked block. Below that, plug in a hide block from looks. Then add a forever loop below that. From control, add a wait one second block inside the forever loop. Then from operators, drag in a pick random one to 10 block into the time slot of the wait block. Now change that value from 10 to a three. From movement, add a go to block and select Bajo from the drop down menu. Below that, add a show block from looks. Below that, add a repeat until block from control. Insert an or block from operators and from sensing, insert two touching blocks and change one to Darren and the other to Edge. Inside the repeat until block, add a change Y by 10 block from motion, add a minus sign to change that to minus 10. From looks, add a hide block below the repeat until loop. Whoa, now Bajo shoots chickens. How do I do that for Hex and I? All you need to do is drag the script onto the other two chickens. Now change the go to block from Bajo to Hex and Goose. Whoa, now everyone shoots chickens. It's a bit of a free for all. Uh, maybe we should add those barriers. That would increase the challenge. It will indeed, Goose, but we'll have to leave that for next lesson. Oh, out of time already. Remember, Spawnlings, to save your programming progress. And if you've missed anything and would like to rewatch this or any previous lessons, you can do so here. Until next time. Julian out. Goose out. Thanks, Goose and Julian. I love how quickly this game is taking shape, Bajo. Yeah. Uh, okay, you two. Coding time is over. Off to the Ask Point Point desk for now. Chop, chop. Questions are waiting. They're learning so fast. <laughs>